Hello once again, uh, my name is Stanley and I'm taking you through the Java Beginners uh, tutorials for the simple things that you can begin to do with Java as you progress in learning other other more challenging things. Now if you are with us in the in the in the lesson one for making Java directory uh, <coughs> I'll show you this is this is how far we went. Uh, we created a directory in drive f that was called test directory and we give a condition that if the directory exists then you make a, a directory if it does not exist then you just you just throw an error um now uh we're going to go to the next <coughs> step i'm going to show you how to create a file inside that directory a, a .txt file uh inside this directory Mm, we can create that file inside this condition if the directory exists then make directory or you can create it uh, at whatever point you want personally I don't create that file inside the, the condition I just want to leave that condition just that simple for for creating a directory now I'll move outside the condition and I will call another file function a file file let's say file t now this will be our text file is equals to new file now declare where the file will be it will be in f i want to create that file inside the directory that we we created f test test uh, no we don't we don't need to we don't okay i'll just test directory okay and then we're going to declare the file name say test file test file dot txt okay now we can also create a condition for it that if if t does not exist then we call the function for creating the file we say t dot create new file and you will see that the, the there will be an error and when you highlight the error it will show that there is unreported exception io exception it must be caught or declared to be thrown uh, this means that you can you can use a try catch statement or you can just you can just uh, report it at the, the main class right now I don't want to, to, to take you through the try catch statement but I just want to show you how to resolve this 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 type of uh, an error instantly just just highlight then press alt key and enter and you will see options come you can surround the statement with try catch statement or you can add throw close for java io dot io exception right now I, I i would for a big a very fast beginner i don't want you to use the surround statement with a, a statement with try catch statement uh in in our more advanced lessons i'll show you how to use the try catch statement but for now for you beginner i just want you to tick the first option and see what happens at this point at the main at the main the the IDE adds a throw IO exception. You can do this manually or you can <coughs> you can select that option and it's it's automatically done for you in NetBeans. I'm not sure what ID you are using and I am not sure whether this is done. I'm going to remove this and see the error returns. Now when you are encountered with this error and your your IDE does not allow you to, to do the just I, I, I highlight this and uh, you will see that it's this unreported exception that is IO exception just come at this point <coughs> and type manually throws IO exception okay and see the error the error has disappeared so in case that file is not created the system will be able to to show you the what kind of an exception 
has been encountered by your program so that the file has not been created and so we say that file we can do a system dot out <coughs> that file created successfully <coughs> Okay, what if it's not created? <coughs> mm. What if this file is not created? We'll just have else. <coughs> say file already exists you have to be a bit careful with these uh, <coughs> with these uh, if else clauses for example this one has some issues um, what I'm going to do I'm going to move uh, this what we've just typed completely outside uh, <coughs> completely outside the the create the create directory function that's the create directory function be careful with this else if statement they can make your program malfunction else okay i'll put my create file there so file t is that file if it does not exist create new file and we say that system has created the new file else we say file already exists <coughs> and this is it so when i run my program i expect two things first it will scan the directory f test directory if the directory does not exist then a new directory will be created and the system will need to print out that directory has been created successfully. If the directory is already there, <coughs> then we will need to see an output that the directory already exists. But that does not uh, stop our program. It will continue that file T is a new file, create the text file in that location. If it does not exist, then we we'll create file and the output. Oh, let's run the program and see now what happens. <coughs> we have two outputs. We have the directory already exists. It already exists, why? Because we had already created this directory in lesson one. So that directory is already there in that path. But then the system, the, our simple program has gone ahead to create a new file. And that's why we have a second output that the file has been created successfully now I want us to go I want us to go to the drive F <coughs> computer drive F let's look for the test directory here it is and inside the test directory now we have a blank file this one it's a dot txt file it's a blank file and uh, this is how you create a file inside a directory remember the directory is automatically created and the file is automatically created I'm going to delete the directory together with the file both of them and let's see what happens <coughs> I'm going to delete test so I'm deleting the whole of this folder together with the file inside and um, <coughs> Let's relearn our program and see what happens now. The directory has been created successfully and the file has been created successfully. This means that we have a directory that has been created automatically and we have a file inside that directory that has also been created automatically. See, you don't have to create the folder, the directory, you don't have to create the file. The simple program we have created has been able to create a directory and a file inside it. Let's check and see whether this is true. <coughs> Let's come to 
test test directory is down here and the, the file is the file is there there's the file a blank file thank you so much guys for joining me in this uh, lesson 2 tutorial and uh, i'll be hoping to see you in the next lesson 3 in the lesson 3 i'm going to now show you how to write write input into that file so our program will be able to create a directory create a file inside it and the file will not be blank it will have something of our choice inside so i'm sure this will this is getting more exciting so don't miss the, the the third lesson as i take you progressively on the simple things that you can do with java as you begin learning the other things we will go learning uh, as we go uh, ahead and i'm sure you're going to to enjoy thank you so much and god bless you